So crystal compounds are solid substances made up of different types of atoms bonded together in a crystal lattice. Those make up a lot of the substances in the world around us. But those don't make up all substances in the world around us. There are a lot of different varieties of substances. And another category of compound substances that we find in God's world are molecular compounds. Just like there were crystal elements and molecular elements, there are crystal compounds made up of more than one type of atom and molecular compounds. Let's take a look at what a compound is once again, and then we'll wrap our heads around exactly what a molecular compound is. Again, compounds are substances that are pure substances, one type of building block, made up of different kinds of atoms. In these pictures of compounds, you see that there's always more than one type of atom, but there's three different arrangements pictured here. We already understand that the top one, potassium sulfate, is a crystal compound because you can see the crystal lattice in the background. The other two, though, are made up of molecules. One of those two is considered to be a molecular compound, and it is the ether, the liquid, that's pictured on the left. Let's take a look at what makes ether a molecular compound. A compound, again, is a pure substance made up of more than one type of atom, and a molecule is a group of atoms bonded together. So to make a molecular compound, you simply have to have different kinds of atoms, but they're grouped together to make the same kinds of molecules. Every molecule has to be made up of the exact same kinds of atoms bonded the same way to have a molecular compound. Notice that in ether, that's exactly what's happening. There are four carbons, one oxygen, and ten hydrogens in each molecule. And they're all bonded the exact same way with the oxygen in the middle, the carbons like wings on the outside, and the hydrogens bonded to the carbons surrounding the entire molecule. These are the exact same kind of molecule. They're rotated, they're arranged differently, they're sliding past one another as a liquid, but they are the same kind of molecule. Another example of a molecular compound would be water vapor. Even liquid water would be a molecular compound because it's made up of molecules of water. Water molecules are made up of one oxygen bonded to two hydrogen atoms, and because these molecules are all bonded the same way, that makes this a molecular compound. Different types of atoms bonded to make just one building block, one type of molecule. Another example of this would be carbon dioxide, a substance which is released from the tailpipes of cars, from power plants, and from many other places. Carbon dioxide molecules are all made of one carbon bonded to two oxygens. And because these molecules are made up of different types of atoms, but they're bonded together the same way throughout, this is a molecular compound. Finally, we have this substance that maybe you've used on a cut that you've gotten on your skin somewhere. If you pour hydrogen peroxide onto a cut, you'll feel a burning sensation, but at the same time, it sterilizes the cut and it's able to kill any germs that are there. Hydrogen peroxide is a molecular compound because it's made up of the same type of molecule all the way through. In this case, we have two oxygens bonded to two hydrogen atoms. And you'll notice that there's a whole bunch of these molecules in one place. Hydrogen peroxide is a liquid substance at room temperature, so the molecules are sliding past one another. Now, notice again, are there any solids pictured on this page? There are absolutely none. Because if there were solids, there would have to be something bonding the solid particles together, and the thing that does that is the crystal lattice of a crystal compound. So molecular compounds are always either liquids or gases. That's what makes a molecular compound different types of atoms except bonded the same way into molecules.